Welcome to Name Check. I'm Michael Riedel of the New York Post, and I'm delighted today to be joined by an absolutely wonderful young singer, very beautiful woman as well, Mika Newton, whose career took off in Ukraine, and she has now moved to America, where I suspect the career is just about to take off here as well. Yes. Welcome, Mika. Now, I said when we first met before we went on the air that you remind me very much of um, the wonderful uh, Olivia Newton-John when she was so young and yeah. beautiful and green. So I'm going to call you Mika Newton-John. Oh, okay. All right, with you. Um, <laughs> all right, now Mika, tell me, um, you were discovered, I guess, in in Ukraine as a, as yes, a singer. Can yes, you give me a little, course, yeah. little bit about your background? Were you singing as a, as a kid, and, and how did yeah, you break into it, this racket? Uh, when it was five, I just started to sing and disturbed my mother that I want to <laughs> be a singer. And I pretend that I'm very famous, and I did a lot of concerts, concerts for her and for her like girlfriends, and mm -hmm. and then when I was five, my mother told my father that it's enough for her, and she want like we have to do something with her because she's singing and dancing everywhere, like 24 <laughs> hours per day, and then uh, my father uh, he invited a f really famous composer who was in a famous in the west of Ukraine and mm -hmm. discovered a lot of groups and famous singers and uh, he told them that yeah she could be a singer like she has voice and mm -hmm. good ears and like let's do something with her and I started to take part in a different contest in Ukraine and I was so lucky because I won everywhere mm. and when I was 15 uh, we just sat at, at my house with my parents and they asked me like do you want to be a singer I'm like I don't know how to be not to be a singer you know you wanted to be famous though you said earlier no I from didn't the beginning did you have a no, sense you I wanted to be I just even didn't understand how is what it does it mean to be a famous or to be a star I just love to perform I just love to be on a stage and that's it right right and I went to uh, when I was 15 I went to uh, circus and variety college, mm. and I took like classes and. Can I, you juggle? Uh, not really. Tightrope uh, walking? Uh, I just I did pantomime, you know. Oh, like, my, oh my God, God, this is so hard. I, <laughs> I can't tell. My God, for two hours, you know, like this all your body. Well, you okay. said you, you said before we went on the air that uh, you're you come to New York to see a friend of yours who's in yeah. uh, Cirque du Soleil yeah. or one of the big circuses. Yeah, and here. he he uh, studied there in this the same college a long time ago. Yeah, he performed at uh, Cirque du Soleil's a kind of show. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was so proud of him and Anatoly Zalewski. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good name for a circus performer, Anatoly yeah. Solansky. Now, let me ask you, if you were a young girl growing up in America and you were singing and dancing all the time as you were in Ukraine, you would probably be singing and dancing to something like, um, oh, an old Broadway musical like Annie or Bye Bye Birdie. What does a young Ukrainian girl sing and dance to? What sort of music were you jumping for around For a small with? town when I was born, it was so weird to be a singer. Everyone tells told my father that... Uh, no way like singer is it mm -hmm. not profession it's it, profession is to be a lawyer like or like to be a manager singer no way and um, he broke all the stereotypes and uh, i moved to kiev when i was 15. to pursue the career yeah and then when i was 16 i went to the another contest i won and there was a um, really famous producer mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, we s I signed my first contract when but I was again, 16. And what was the kind of music you were singing as a kid? What was the music that influenced you? The music Ukrainian you music. Really? So you weren't, singing, you weren't singing you know, American rock hits and pop standards no, and European No, no. I was stuff. so lucky because the, my teacher, he was a composer as well. Mm. And he wrote like specific or different songs for right. me. Right, right. Can you give me a, an example of what, would, would this be a Ukrainian folk tune or traditional Ukrainian folk music that you no, were sort of singing? No, no, no. Or contemporary Ukrainian It was just music. like normal pop song for a kid. Hmm, of Ukrainian pop song. Yeah. Can you give me a lyric in uh, U Ukraine? How would it go? Can you teach me? Oh, uh, I just, I just, you know, I just performed before I came to you for for my managers. That oh, you did? You uh, yeah, we just were uh, like laughing and because uh, today I released uh, in my country, I released Ukrainian song like Mika Newton because I never done it before. Mm. And for me, it's we are just talking. We were talking about Ukrainian, and uh, I I uh, sang for them um, the song like Luli Luli Treba Spati, I Deja Nichinka Duhati, Svido Zirinka Vikonse, Spi Malenkin Naja Sonse, Bayo 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 Bayo
This is for little kids. That's gorgeous. T teach me the beginning of that. Let me try uh, myself. You Luli Luli. <laughs> Here we go. You, <laughs> now, now, darling, don't, don't, don't shut me down. Wait a minute, give me a chance. You, you. Lu, Lu, Luli. Oh, L, L, Luli. Luli, you, Luli. Luli, Luli. Luli, Luli. Luli, Treba spa. Treba spa. This is so funny. <laughs> oh uh, I'll be singing uh, duets with Mika Newton yes. at Splash <laughs> on Thursday night where she is performing. <laughs> uh, by the way, I should uh, mention that uh, Mika has a couple of singles out. The new one is Come Out and Play. How do you say come out and play in Ukrainian? Come out and play. Vstavai, tansuj, ihraj. And also, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> and don't dumb me down is another of your big guys. Uh, yeah, don't songs. dumb me down. How's that? How would you? Now, were these all you, were these Ukrainian songs translated, or are these no, English I'm, songs? No, I, I, am, mm. I don't do it. I, I, I think uh, it's very hard to translate and then right. sing in a different language. Yeah. yeah. And no, it's. Yeah. Now, let me ask you. you um, here you are in Kiev, and you're doing very, very well in Ukraine, and probably could have had a very nice career there. Yeah. But suddenly you decide to cast your lot here in America, which, you know, is a very hard uh, yep. uh, market and world to crack as uh, in the entertainment business. It's just your burning ambition to be the next Madonna? Uh, you know, my ambition is just to be honest with the people and to be honest with myself. Mm -hmm. This is my ambition. And uh, after Eurovision con Song Contest, mm -hmm. when I took fourth place, I met JK Music Group, and uh, before it, I'm, uh, they introduced me to Randy Jackson. Mm -hmm. And when the they American Idol uh, judge and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When they saw me, I performed Steven Taylor's song, uh, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, mm -hmm. and without like any music, and just came and sang. And uh, they asked me, like, do you want to move to LA? And it was so hard because I really do have everything in my country. I had success. After Eurovision, like, all concentration was on me over there and until today. And I do have my fans, my audience. Like, yeah. I, I feel very comfortable. But I want to move see the on. World and move I want to see, yeah, I want to perform for more audience, for bigger audience. That's why I'm here. Right, right. And a big record contract from BMI. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, well, Mika Newton, your uh, charming guest here for Name Check. Uh, her albums are Don't, I'm sorry, her songs are Don't Dumb Me Down, Come Out and Play, and you're appearing uh, this week at Splash here in New York City. Yes. And then after that, what do you, what do you go off to do? Oh, interviews again, and uh, I'm going to uh, LA and we'll perform there. It's just everything is busy it's all right happening. now. Yeah. All right, uh, Mika, it was a lovely chatting with you. Thank you for coming to Name Check, and I'm going to try you. to sing out. I'm going to sing out with that loop. Lu, lu, how's it go? Lu. Luli luli. <laughs> lu luli luli. Treba spa. Oh my god. <laughs> and, we're, and everyone after our show will sleep. <laughs> That's right. I better stick to Broadway. The sun will come out <laughs> tomorrow. Just come out and play. Come out and play. <laughs> That's right. Popular. You could be. You could be uh, Gal Galinda and Wicked. Actually, you oh. look like Galinda in the big Broadway musical Wicked. Oh Ooh. my god, I am wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute, darling. All right, Mika Newton, thanks a lot for being my Thank guest. Thank you so I'm much. Thank you for having me. We'll see you next time on Name Check. I'm Michael Riedel of the New York Post.